Welcome to the sixth lecture in historical linguistics. We are looking today at um, pronouns of address in Middle High German, which is quite fortuitous because later today, Horst Simon will speak about the later history of pronouns of address. And it's something really crucial to understand not just German language, but uh, German society and how class interactions have changed or not over the centuries and how to mark um, things like didactic speaking, top down, bottom up, um, how to uh, interact and the whole communication structure really hinges of, um, on the form of address. And Hugo von Trimberg, whose Renna we have been uh, using as a, a basic text, um, is particularly good in setting out because he uh, starts literally from Adam and Eve to describe the evolution of mankind and their language. He puts everything back to the Urkunde, to the um, arch charter that testifies uh, why certain elements have uh, become as they are. And uh, since I was asked last time what my color coding meant, I've put it here once more. So uh, red are the strong verbs, green the um, preterite presence, and blue are the weak verbs. And the preterite presence uh, is with which we ended last time. They are the crucial modifiers of speech. And the main didactic impetus of der Renner is um, this uh, form of sollen. And sollen has both the future tense um, and uh, the uh, directive tense of, of um, the present as it ought to be. So uh, Hugo von Trimberg is prescribing a certain form of living, namely to uh, where it is his duty, his task to bedüten, to tell in German, to interpret the biblical history and the facts of life to the junge Lüte. So the junge Lüte were his audience in Bamberg, the students at the Stiftschule St. Gangolf, but is also a contemporary Oxford student audience. So she has described how vice came into the world through a chain of development. Um, and the chain of development is triggered by Lucifer trying to be of a higher state uh, than he ought to be. So God is sitting as altissimus, as supreme um, in the heaven. And Lucifer tries to put up his throne um, as high as God's, which ends him falling down. And you see the flames of hell uh, trickling down on Adam and Eve. So their fall is triggered by Lucifer's fall. And every mankind, every person is now affected by this original fall from grace. So the structure Hugo von Trimberg um, gives for the first uh, vice, namely pride. Um, Hochmut ist aller Laster Anfang. Pride comes before the fall. Is um, the um, pride is structured according to the status in the world, and uh, so the first division is between men and women, so pride for women means something different than for men. And we'll look at this gender aspect next week. And uh, within uh, the men, uh, there is the main division between secular and um, the church people. And um, we are looking now at forms of address today between these three uh, groups of secular people, uh, the peasants, um, I put them on top because they are dealt with first, but in the 
pyramid, you sh they should be at the bottom. The Ritter, the Knights, and um, a, a crucial category for understanding Helmbrecht, the Halbritter, uh, those who are neither uh, peasants nor knights. Um, and um, this whole distinction Hugo von Trimberg sets out in a long story within the story, which uh, has the narrative um, fiction that he or the, his narrator figure is coming riding into a village and is asked by the peasants why there are different classes uh, in the world. You, um, I've brought you here the manuscript from Innsbruck of der Renner. Um, you remember it's already early uh, New High German, so it um, has von einem Bauern, so Ruhr in Middle High German, Bauer in Modern German, der fragt einen Herren, warum ein Mensch edler wäre denn das andere. And uh, to uh, kind of uh, spoiler alert, uh, Hugo von Trimberg uh, solves the problem by defining edel or adel, nobility, as something twofold. And the class meaning is God given, and uh, peasants shouldn't try to be something else than peasants. But uh, the spiritual meaning of adel is something anybody can strive to be. So you should be spiritually noble, not trying to be rich. Well, um, and so um, he starts um, this uh, section on pride, um, saying, noch sind einerlei Lüte, dir man Geburfolk heißet Hüte, der manniger viel tratzmürtig wäre, wären in die Herren nicht zis wäre. So möchte man ihr viel Mangen finden, wie der Hochfährte in Gesinn. And then comes this story that he embeds. In ein Dorf kam ich geritten. And you see uh, in the image, the artist has really marked this class difference by making the figure of the rider uh, larger than life with a very fashionable Zaddellappenkragen. So uh, these um, long sleeves uh, that have the extra lengths. So having an abundance of cloth spent on a coat shows that you are rich and don't have to uh, uh, spare with a cloth. While you can see um, the naked skin of the peasant who is completely unkempt, a bit like a uh, hairstyle like me, um, with his hair uh, standing up and not a nice fashionable um, hat, also with saddle lappen. Uh, he has these wooden shoes, the clogs on his feet, and uh, doesn't have uh, uh, proper hoses, but uh, these uh, too short um, pieces of um, dress. And um, even though the other figures of the peasants are in the foreground, they are much smaller uh, than uh, the figure who is astride on the horse. So, in ein Dorf kam ich geritten, da lagen Geburt nach ihren Sitten an ihrem Gemache auf ihren Wammen. Zu ihren Haupten saßen ihr Ammen, die ihr mit Fließe tierlich suchten, der sie Lütze hinachgeruchten. This is a, a kind of joke. Um, so the uh, nurses are uh, looking in the hair for lice. Um, uh, and he compares it as if they are hunting for animals, but uh, other than nobility who is hunting for animals to eat them or to use them, they aren't really, uh, they don't really care for the animals uh, they are uh, finding. Um, ihr einer, so one of the peasants, ging gegen mir und sprach, du er mich zur Rieten sach. Viel lieber Herre, wir gefürget sich das, 
das Ü Herren ist viel Bass, denn uns Armen geboren sie. So here is a, a, a distinction, the um, first person plural in uns Armen geboren is used because there really is a plurality of people. So he's speaking as part of a collective, but the plural in ü Herren, euch Herren, um, is um, also meaning a, a group, but is also applicable to every single one among the lords who have to be addressed by the um, honorific hell and uh, with a second person plural, the Ilzen. And uh, so he asks, why is it that you are much better off bus than we are? Um, sind ein Leute eigen, die anderen free? So are there one kind of people that are eigen? Uh, that they are owned um, like Eigentum in modern German and um, the others free uh, uh, so for, yeah like modern English uh, free frei ja sprach ich das was im Zorn uns brach nur sie wird doch geboren von einer Mutter alle so he refers back to uh, the story we had uh, Hugo von Trimberg had just treated earlier in the chapter uh, of all mankind being uh, derived from Eve. And uh, then Hugo von Trimberg dissects the different meaning. But first he sets up uh, this collective of the Geburen as really um, the Pöbel, the um, lower class also in a moral sense. So he devalues uh, the poor as those who deserve to be poor because uh, they are a drunken lot. And they just come uh, as do kam der Gebur ein Getralle um, us einem Liedhuse gegangen. Uh, Lied is a kind, uh, Obstwein, a kind of cider Uh, it's etymologically related to liquid. So they come from a, a public uh, drinking house. Von denen ward ich empfangen und von jenen, die da lagen, die die Körper niederwage. So he sets up the scene with a, uh, like on a stage, with some people lying down because uh, they are just being lysed, some people lying down because they're drunk, and uh, the narrator up on the halls towering over them. Um, sie baten alle Gelieche, dass ich täte so tugendliche und sie beschierde der Meere, war von der eine edel wäre, der ander unedel, der ander frie, der ander eigen. Wer nu hier wie über Pfarrer sprach ich, so wollte ich schier des Lahn erbitten mich, wenn er der soll über Lehrer sehen. Er verstörende auch Bastier, Redemin, der eine ungelehrte Lüte. So again, he classifies them as ungelehrt, the lay people who don't um, understand uh, Latin, that means uh, basically ungelehrt. And while he, the narrator, classifies himself in the same class as the Pfarrer, the vicar of uh, the village, who would be his socially equal to talk to. And uh, in another manuscript, the Darmstadt manuscript, you see the narrator, um, quite improbable if he's just uh, uh, ridden into a village, uh, seated on a, a throne or one of these chairs that gave the name uh, to the Lehrstühle, so, so the um, Uh, the lecturing uh, chairs from which a medieval professor would lecture on the people. And he has here not a fashionable hat, but rather a scholar's cap, uh, simply uh, 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 similar to uh, what um, 
the soft cap is nowadays in, in Oxford University. Um, the peasants in this uh, manuscript are slightly mo more upmarket than in the previous one, so they still have short um, dresses, but uh, more decently clad and much better camped than in the previous. And I just have one small drug, rather, yeah. Sie sprachen, nu saget uns hüte viel lieber Herre, des wir euch bitten. So while the previous euch you could have just uh, attributed to a, a group of lords being addressed, here it's clearly linked the second person plural in euch with a singular address to one Herr, viel lieber Herr, uh, uh, my uh, my lord, uh, my dear lord. Sie fielen an mich nach ihren Sitten und baten, dass ich erbeiste. Um, erbeisen is another of these uh, weak verbs we have been looking at in previous sessions. Uh, it's uh, like tränken from trinken. So uh, beißen. Uh, in the sense of uh, having somebody bite is uh, derived from the beesen, the um, eating yourself, and uh, basin is to make somebody bite. So um, a basin in this sense means to get down from the horse so that the horse has uh, the opportunity to um, feed and be refreshed for the uh, back journey. Zwei trunken Leute reizte zu lange der Hed und Wesen sind. Ich saß da nieder und sprach zu ihnen von Adam mehr, der eine tausend Jahre vergangen waren, das ist wahr. Ähm, äh, Ferre von der alten E, do lebt ein Mann, der hieß Noe, der gerne Gottes Willen tät, so Noe, äh, like Noah, äh, in the Bible, Uh, with a flood, der gerne Gottes Willen tät. Sem, Ram und Japhet, hier sind sie eine Sühne Dri, der wurden Zwene, Edel und Fri, des dritten Geschlechte verfluchet ist, als man in den Burchen liest. So, um, and then he addresses again the peasants, nu sylt ihr hören, wir das kam. Und, um, This ihr sylt hören is uh, combines in this modal verb uh, sollen sylen both the yusif, uh, so listen attentively, you have to listen, um, but also the future tense, you shall be hearing, you will be hearing how this comes. And that's a very typical didactic mode. Um, you had seen previously on the first slide I showed today the twice zoom as a, a way of predicting what is going to happen, but also what has to uh, happen. So um, listen carefully. And the plural here is that of the collective um, audience. And um, uh, so he uh, uh, puts back the that some people are socially of a lower standing back to this Genesis story of one of the sons of Noah disobeying him and making ridicule of him while he is lying exposed. Uh, after having um, uh, become drunk. Der Mittelsohn, was geheißen kam, an, an züchten, an tuckenden, was er lahm. Er sah eines Tages Sines Vater Scham, du er was trunken und es lief. Sinen zwei Brüder dann er do rief und ließ sie schauen, wie er lag. Du kehrten sie beide da den Nack und gingen Rückelingen da, du sie des Vater Namen war und breiten über in ihr Gewand. So they are going backwards so that they don't see uh, the nakedness of their father. 
Nur er wachte sah zur Hand und merkte, was ihr Heten getan und sprach, verflucht sie Kanaan und alles sieben Geslechte, Soldierner und Eigenknechte, Miner zweier Sühne sehen. Nu merket lieben Freunde mean. So here again, the narrator is addressing the peasants in the story, but in doing this, in using the plural form, it's also an extra diagetic um, signal to uh, the audience in Bamberg in around 1300, his students, but uh, to any future audience to uh, listen to stories, not just for uh, entertainment, but for learning a lesson for the here and now. Alsus sind edel Lüte kommen und eigen als ihr habt vernommen. Um, so uh, he is um, delivering his uh, uh, lessons in oral form so that uh, they have to, to listen to it while he is getting his reading from the books. So he refers constantly to having read something. Now that also makes the class difference. But then there is a didactic twist because um, the narrator doesn't want to be accused of being um, proud um, himself. So he ends it with a praise address, uh, which is a kind of uh, vocative, um, exhortative, Woll ihm, or praise to him, to them, der Gottes eigen is. So, um, the peasants approach the whole system of class from their experience of uh, being suppressed by the higher uh, classes, while um, Hugo von Trimberg turns it on a spiritual basis and means the true freedom uh, is by being owned by God, because then you are uh, within his uh, flock. Diese Freiheit wird unlange Frist, die frie Lüte habend auf Erden, wenn sie zum Miste auch müssen werden. Um, when comes a, a story um, that puts a kind of funny twist again on the uh, unlearnedness of uh, the peasants, because they mix up the name Noah. Uh, which he has used in the also Middle High German form of Noe, um, with um, a loan word from uh, French, um, negare, to negate. Um, and uh, so, uh, verneuen uh, or neuieren means to be insolent. And um, it's a making uh, fun of the peasants, similar to the fun being made about Helmbrecht, who tries to use complicated uh, foreign words to impress the others. So um, here the peasant is shown as having um, snapped up uh, this uh, fashionable word, Nujieren, but not really have understood it. Um, da sprach der Geburt einer Satze Hand, nur allerst ist mir bekannt, dass wir immer mühe sind, wessen verneuert Volk. Sieht ihr gelesen habt, dass Noja hier ist, der diesen Segen liest, dass uns immer soll wessen weh. So he refers to uh, the speech that the narrator has just delivered as having been read to. So, um, Je, uh, jemand, um, in German you say jemanden die Leviten lesen so uh, or the uh, to, to read the riot act to somebody in, in English so lesen um, can mean beyond uh, the actual process of reading a book uh, the kind of top down uh, formal speech uh, that is done by the learned classes so he refers, uh, you have read to us the meaning of Neue, 
And then the narrator uh, answers, no, no. Ich sprach, der fromme Mann hieß Noe. So he is expecting probably at that point his uh, students in Bamberg to chuckle about uh, these uh, stupid peasants and uh, to uh, instill in them a learning, trying to, uh, a yearning to be more learned uh, than these and by looking up properly the names. Um, der fromme Mann hieß Noé, der um seines Sohnes Missetat diesen Flur gegeben hat. Der fällt nicht gemeine auf die Geburt alters eine, er fällt auf mannige ander Lüte, als ich ü hernach bedüte. Juden, Ketzer, Heiden und Christen, die unbescheiden sind und unordentlichen lebend und wider Gottes Willen strebend, auf dir fällt derselbe Flur, als lehrend uns der heiligen Burg. So she redefines uh, this uh, cursed class um, as those who aren't just socially inferior, but are unteachable, are not prepared to um, accept teaching coming to them. So at the same time, he offers his audience a way out of um, a way of social mobility by listening to the teaching and by being uh, of an inner nobility and accepting um, God's will. And this is a communal lesson that appeals, uh, applies to everybody, including the narrator. So he includes himself in this via the first person plural. And then he goes on, uh, I won't read through all of that since I have, uh, I, I'll probably read quickly through the Middle High German, so just to uh, hear it. Um, ein Friegebur ist Herrengenoss, allein er sieht des Gurtes bloß, bloß means naked, so even if he is, if somebody is naked of goods, um, Doch ist er von Gebürte free. Wehnt ihr, dass ich Herren sie, die es wacher sehen, dann ein Gebur? Und ließ Gott gehen, einen Schuh über ungeslachte Herren untugend, ihr stürbe manniger in seine Jugend. And then um, I skip to the uh, bit which I've highlighted. Wenn er eines sind Edelinge, das ander Esselinge. So he... Um, uh, Hugo von Trimberg loves making up new words uh, in the way in which you can do word formation in German by applying um, endings to existing nouns. So um, here he has the one um, formation of people that are defined by the adjective edel. They are the edelinge, the nobility. Um, and then there are the Eselinge, they are the ones representing um, the donkeys, uh, and they do uh, donkey things. Uh, ein Edeling tut Edelichen, ein Eseling tut Eselichen. Uh, and um, then he comes to the figure of the donkey. Uh, those doing paper three we just discussed um, a, a couple of weeks ago the story of uh, the donkey uh, that is taught to read but will only be able to su to say er uh, how hard ever he's going to be taught. But uh, the main point is uh, that Hugo von Trimberg is uh, making that freedom is a spiritual category and you are, um, as Forrest Gump is, uh, it puts it, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure about the actual quote, but uh, good is as good does or noble um, is as noble does. Um, so uh, Tugend is the really defining element. Um, and that's the same point that is done in um, Martin Luther's 
on Christian freedom, which then frequently was taken as a, a call for uh, insurrection, but which uh, Luther really meant as a point of um, behavior, uh, Christian behavior. And then um, he puts against each other um, St. Peter and King Arthur, as uh, St. Peter as a fisherman who uh, is uh, full of Tugend um, and has more, had nu mere denne König Artus. And then he gives a long list of um, all the uh, kings who have come uh, to fall and um, as a warning that it's not really about wealth that makes you happy and more crucially blessed, but it's really uh, the virtuous life. And uh, this point is picked up in one of the Renner manuscripts, the one I did my PhD on, where in 1425, uh, the clerk to the law courts in Nuremberg rearranges the text and puts programmatic images up. So he was also the one with a pride image with a fire coming down. So he opposes uh, in two pairs, virtuous uh, youth and um, insolent youth. So on the left-hand side, you have uh, young people uh, uh, disco dancing or going to a bop on the left-hand side. Below, you have them playing silly party games called Schinkenklatschen, where you have to hit somebody on the behind and they have to guess who it was who has hit them. Um, you see it also in these paintings by uh, the Bruegel brothers or, or similar. And on the right hand side, you see um, a young uh, girl looking demurely down with her hands folded while a young man is greeting her uh, politely. And below there you have two young men shaking hands while they have taken off their hats. So that brings us back to the form of address. Address isn't just a linguistic uh, feature, it's also how you enact the language in your body uh, language. And um, this brings him uh, to the point, Niermann is schöne, edel und riech, denn der da kommt zu Himmel riech. So truly noble is somebody who ends up in heaven rather than in hell. And then uh, the peasants uh, bring him a jug of wine and ask him, uh, den den Wien schenke wir ü alle und wollen ü noch mehrere schenken. Darum sylt ihr gedenken und tuert nach tugendlichen Sitten und bescheidet uns noch eins, des wir bitten, von denen die Halbritter sind und von denen, so die Halbritter sind und doch ungern gebend ihr Kind uns geboren, zwir doch ihr Adel mehr gesippe sie dem Stadel, denn es dem Ritter sappeln sie. So he asked, why are these um, semi- uh, Demi half knights, um, so uh, arrogant. And there you see the visualization in a manuscript with a uh, Halbritter who tries to have uh, to be higher than the woman he greets by just lifting up his chin with a fashionable um, swirbelbart in. Uh, carefully done in two parts and a uh, feather in his cap um, while the woman is just in one colored dress and with a, a veil round her head looking down. He again has the Zadellappenkragen, he has a hunting horn and a costly um, bag hanging round his uh, shoulder. Um, and uh, Hugo von Trimberg answers, uh, or has the narrator answer in the way that has been the didactic um, 
feature since antiquity by telling a fable, an animal story that uh, um, shows the uh, uh, state of a human being sometimes clearer than actual. Uh, so, and uh, here you have the story about the lion, the Löwe, and uh, the Mool, the uh, Maul Esel in modern German, um, Mule in, in English. And uh, the lion as king addresses um, everybody below with a condescending do, um, while the other animals addressing him with the ear of uh, the lords. Do der Lewe über alle Tier König ward, er wählt für sich viel Schier, hier ist er kommen gemeine, die Tier groß und kleine, und gebot, dass sie das nicht entliessen, sie sagten ihm alle, wie sie hier sind. Und des, do dies geschach, da kam der Mul, der König sprach, sage mir, wie bist du genannt? Er sprach, Herr, ist übekannt bekannt des Ritters Ross, der in der Stadt gesessen ist, zu Bacharat, und ist genannt Herr Toldenier? Ja, sprach er, glaubet mir, dasselbe Ross ist mein Oheim. Also ist mir gesagt daheim, dasselbe Ross und mein Murter aß miteinander furter aus einer Krippen und sind geboren von einer Murter. So the mule tries to uh, up his social standing by referring to his maternal uh, relatives who were horses, while uh, not talking about um, his paternal ancestry. Um, dem Könige was Zorn und sprach, noch ist mir unbekannt, wie er den Vater sie genannt. Er sprach, Herre, ging ihr Stieg je für die Stadt zu Brunswick, Braunschweig? Secht, Herre, da steht ein junger Voll, des man pflieget harte Woll, der gehört des Landesherren an und ist mein Oheim, als ich Hahn vernommen von der Murtermin. So, um, again, referring to a horse that is um, in court service, er gehört des Landesherren an. Um, er sprach so, the uh, lion says, Svir Edel, den Oheim sie, Svir Edel auch den Murtel ist, doch weiß ich noch nicht, wer du bist, du sagest denn, wer den Vater sie. Er schweigt, so the mule doesn't say anything. Du sturnt der Fuchs da, wie und sprach, bekennet ihr, Herre, den Esel, den der Pfister hat, zu Wesel, dort us hin gehen dem Welde, Felde? So wisset Arne melde, dass derselbe sein Vater ist. So the fox tells on the mule that in fact his father was a donkey. Um, so the mule uh, uh, is uh, the equivalent of this Halbritter, neither uh, flesh nor fowl, neither donkey nor horse, and um, sterile. Uh, Du sprach der König, sie du nur bist von unglicher Art geboren, so sage mir eines doch an Zorn und gürtlich, wie du siehst, genannt. Er schweigt, das brach der Fuchs zur Hand, er heißet ein Mul und ist ein Tier stärker und größer, denn er mein vier. Ich wollte aber doch ungern mein Leben, ihm sie geflicket Adel geben. Sie Vater, das er nicht wollte nennen, wollt ihr die Wahrheit recht erkennen. Es türe denne kein sie oheim sie wenn eine Türe und Einfalt wohnt ihm bi und nähert sich mit seiner Arbeit und tut ungern ihrmen kein Leid. So the fox, um, and by the way, if you're interested in fables, do go into the Bodleian Library. There is currently a brilliant exhibition on um, about Anglo-Dutch relationship and that has the fable of Reinhard the fox. Uh, which became a European bestseller in the Middle Ages, uh, coming from the Netherlands. And, uh, so the fox always is the most cunning, and here takes on the voice of the narrator, the, the one that does the interpretation. And he uh, twists it around and says, the true nobility isn't with a um, horse that is in the service of the lords, but it's rather the one that uh, with a donkey that is doing, doing valuable work by uh, pulling the mill um, and is trüve und einfältig. 
so a loyal and um, of a simple non-cunning uh, way and uh, so the mule by right should rather point to his working class father than to his uh, upper class uh, mother the horse uh, and not trying to do this geflickert adel so and flicken is a patch um, and a flickered adel is patch nobility Herre, dies rede ich ahne far, du sprach der Lebe, du hast wahr. Um, to, to finish off, uh, I wanted to briefly point to some other discussions of Duzen und Irzen. Um, the, I've already mentioned in the lecture I gave last year together with Horst Simon, uh, the a uh, very interesting passage in Parzival, where Parzival meets his older brother, Feirefitz. And um, Feirefitz, who has uh, the mo a black mother, Bella Kane, and uh, the father, Gachmuret, and uh, Parzival's mother, Herzeloide, and um, sharing the father, Gachmuret. Uh, Feirefitz uh, is marked in this manuscript uh, not by different skin color, but rather um, by uh, being the older one through having a gray beard and by uh, being the more powerful one in having an all gold um, armor while Paltival has just elements of gold um, so the uh, gold uh, knee pieces, but otherwise uh, just a normal iron um, armor. And um, so Feirefitz um, offers Parzival that he can call him du. And he says, du sollt nicht mehre irzen mich, wir hätten beide doch einen Vater. Mit bruderlichen Trüen bat er, dass er irzens ihn erliesse und in Dutzen lieche hieße. Du rede, was Parzivale leid, der sprach Bruder über Riechheit geliecht wohl dem Baruke sich. So sieht ihr älter auch, denn ich, min Jugend und min Armut soll solcher Losheit sehen, behurt, dass ich ü durzen bierte, wenn ich mich züchte nierte. So he um, uh, stays with a U, the euch, the in uh, line 29, uh, while uh, uh, going back. Uh, uh, the Dutzen Bierte is an interesting construction um, in uh, a German German, you just uh, call it. Duzen, um, while uh, this uh, in modern German, while in this Middle High German phrase, it's uh, still more of an active. So, jemanden das du anbieten, uh, it's a kind of gift that is offered to somebody. Um, if uh, you allow somebody to address you informally, um, it's uh, a social exchange of kind of physical form. Um, but uh, uh, Parzival is weighing up this kind of gift against uh, the Zucht, the Erziehung, uh, the careful courtly raising that imposes using the second person plural. In um, Swiss German, uh, Duzen is called Duzis machen. Um, so there you still have this kind of uh, uh, physical element of uh, producing the intimate relation. But this exchange is also interesting because soon after that, um, Parzival goes back to uh, the Graalsburg. 
And those of you who have read Parzival know uh, Parzival has come already once to the Grail, but has failed to ask the question why the king of the Grail is sick, because he has misunderstood courtly education in not asking any questions and just being silent in the background. But this is then interpreted as a lack of compassion. So what he uh, meant as a sign of courtly upbringing, not to ask questions, is uh, in the specific situation, the wrong um, behavior because it fails to address the burning need of the Grail King. So when he comes for a second uh, time to the uh, Grail, uh, together with Fire Fitz, um, they encounter their um, uncle Amfortas and um, the, the sick Grail King. And um, Amfortas now addresses Parzival as ihr, uh, given that he is a grown up knight, sieht ihr genannt Parzival. So are you called uh, Parzival, you being the second person plural? Uh, but Parzival realizes where he has gone wrong the first time. Um, and he shows compassion in physical form by uh, crying tears, al weinde Parzival do sprach, um, saget mir, war der Gral hier liege, ob die Gottes Gürte an mir gesiege, das wird wohl innen diese Schar. So in, uh, now tell me, um, and he uses the uh, courtly form of second person plural, where the Grail is, and I'll try to uh, show whether God's grace is with me by now this time asking the question. Um, and then uh, Parzival uh, falls on his knee. So Fenje is uh, the um, genuflection. And then uh, he does it uh, three times to honor the Trinity. Sin Fenje fiel er sehendes da, driest und zu ehren der Trinitat. Then the Grail appears. And then uh, Parzival richte sich auf und sprach du mehr Ölheim. Was wird dir? So he suddenly switches um, to the second person singular, addressing Amfortas not as the Grail King in the formal form, but as his relative in the compassionate form of second person singular as Oheim, so a maternal uncle. Was wird dir? What is wrong with you? How uh, how are you troubled? And this uh, immediately results in the Grail King being uh, healed. Gott half das Amfort ward gesund und wolgenas, because now compassion has been shown. Um, Sorry for running slightly longer than usual, but I wanted to set up all this medieval landscape before the lecture of Horst Simon this morning. So I'll uh, end with two short examples of um, the uh, politeness uh, addresses. One is from the project I'm currently engaged in, in editing 1,800 letters that the nuns of uh, Kloster Lüne, uh, near Lüneburg, were exchanging with different forms of society. And um, there you can study how they're addressing um, family members, how they're addressing um, hi uh, higher uh, nobility, the Duke of Brunswick Lüneburg, for example, how they're addressing um, religious uh, uh, institutions. And um, here, this is an, uh, a letter that um, 
the prioress of Kloster Lüne addresses to the mayor of the town of Lüneburg. And um, in low German uh, with uh, some Latin elements, and she starts it off. Wer Mechtildis wilde Prioren des Klosters to Lüne and wer den Jü, ehrsamen Herren Korde Lange, unsere innige Gebet und de was wir Lebes und de Gutes vermögen. So, we, Mechtild Wilde, Prioress of the Convent of Lüne, um, are bidding you, uh, second person plural, the Honorable Lord uh, Kurt Lange, our um, uh, devout prayer and anything uh, good and uh, well. So here we have the plural form, both for the addressee, uh, the mayor of Lüneburg in his uh, political standing, so upping his uh, social standing in the address form, but also uh, the um, sender calls herself in the what's called the pluralis majestatis, the uh, plural of majesty. So um, you, uh, we, one could read it as a kind of elliptic construction where uh, Mechthild Wilde is just standing for the whole convent. So she is uh, sending it from the collective and hence using the we, but in the juxtaposition of her name and the we, um, it's uh, more uh, weighted towards uh, a personal uh, use of the we in the sense in um, like uh, the British royalty would say we are not amused or how the Pope would say we uh, in his paper balls and uh, she ups herself not out of personal pride which would have been condemned by uh, Hugo van Trimberg but in her uh, official capacity as prioress, as priorin des Klosters. So in that case, it's um, uh, uh, justified to use uh, the plural. And um, the sisters were told actually to use uh, the form of uh, second person plural when talking to each other to uh, avoid being confused uh, with laity. I would have uh, two more examples, but I'll leave them. I might come back to them uh, next session when we are talking about language and gender, because that also um, overlaps uh, with that. So 